All right, let's solve a two-step word problem, working it out style. Right, and if you've seen my working it out videos before, then you know I like to walk you through a word problem, showing you all of my strategies that go through my head when I read it. So let's get started. I like to read the problem once before I even start working with the numbers. I just want to understand what's going on. So let's read it together. During the holiday season, the Easley family spent $209 for the ice experience in Grapevine. They spent $78 on shopping in Grapevine Christmas Market and paid $6 for the carousel ride. How much money did the Easley family spend? Okay, so before I start really working with those numbers, I'm just kind of thinking about how they had a fun time. They looks like they spent money three different ways. And so that's going to be important, I bet. And then the question's asking how much money did they spend? So it sounds to me, even before I start working with the numbers, it sounds to me like we're going to be combining all of those together to get one big total. Okay, now I think it's time to read it again, but this time I like to highlight the important parts that will help me solve the problem. Okay, let's go. During the holiday season, the Easley family spent $209 for the ice experience in Grapevine. So I'm going to go ahead and highlight that first money amount, the $209. They spent $78 on shopping. So I'm going to highlight that too. And then they also paid $6 for the carousel ride. So I'm going to highlight that one too. How much money did the Easley family spend? Now I start on my second read, I start looking at the answer choices too. So A says $293, B says $283, C says $287, and D says $256. So I'm already noticing that all of them are more than 200. So they're all in the 200 range, which makes sense because the you know, the biggest price was the $209 and it's only going to go up from there. So we can't really eliminate a choice that's too small, I don't think. So they all look pretty good. So now I think it's time to move over to the whiteboard or if you want to move over to some scratch paper, whatever you have. It's good to have some scratch paper next to a problem on the computer. So let's go. All right, so I like to start by writing down all of my amounts, and I wrote them down by place value also just to kind of help me out. So I can see that this $9 is lined up with $8, $6, you know, 70 is with the tens, and then the hundreds is all by itself over here because it's the only amount that was up in the hundreds. Okay, now let's think this through. So if I want to know how much money this is all together, what am I going to do with those numbers? All right, you got it. We're going to add. And I like to, when I, especially when I have such big digits here, 9, 8, 6, I like to kind of break it up into two different problems. So let's start by just adding two numbers. Okay, and it looks like I might have to do a little regrouping. If you need a little bit more practice with regrouping, I've got a great video for you that you can go look at first and then come back. Okay, so nine plus eight. You got it, is 17. I'm gonna write that down like this. A seven here, and I regroup the one because if you think about the number 17, the seven does belong with the ones and that little one right there really represents 10. So it goes with the tens then. Okay, so one plus seven, or I like to think about it the other way around, seven plus one. Yep, that's easier because then you can just bump it up one. Okay, and then two plus nothing is two. 
All right. Oh, and I see an answer choice that says that. So are we done? Is that the answer? Okay, hopefully you noticed that we have not added the carousel cost yet. So I think it could be really easy to get distracted by choice C, but I'm gonna keep going and it's a good thing I highlighted and wrote everything down so I don't forget. Okay, so 287 plus the six. All right, what is seven plus six? Okay, you got it, 13. Same regrouping that we've done before. I need to put my one over here with the tens. Okay, eight plus one. Good, is nine. And then two plus nothing is two. Okay, did we add up all of the prices? Yes, we did. And so we have our total that the family spent. And which answer choice are you going to go with? You got it, A, $293, great job.